Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can scan PDFs and worksheets using your phone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your phone to scan worksheets and PDFs. I was recently with a group of people, and I was asking if anybody knew a good app to scan some documents, and my sister kind of laughed at me, being the tech guy, because apparently there is a feature built into your phone that allows you to scan objects right out of your notes. And I didn't realize this, so I thought if I don't know this, that maybe there's other people out there that don't know this as well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to scan objects just using your phone. So using an iPhone, you have an app that's built in called Notes. If you click on your Notes app, and then go to the bottom and click on New Note, the keyboard and some options will pop up at the bottom. If you select the camera icon, you can then press scan documents. And then your camera will turn on. And then if you position the camera over the document, you'll see it automatically takes a picture and scans it right into the PDF. And if it doesn't come out the way you want, you can do retake and your phone will find the piece of paper and then see how it turns it yellow. It finds the edges and you can just click on the um, button to take a picture. Or in this case, it actually just detected all the edges and took the picture for me. So now I can select done. I can crop it. You know, there's different uh, options on the bottom. I can rotate it. You can, if you want to make it color or black and white, you can go through those options as well. Uh, when I'm done, I'll select done. And now if you have more than one sheet, so like let's take this answer key, you can do multiple pages. So you'll see that it's detecting it. And again, I didn't even have to press the circle button there. So I can look at that, make sure it looks okay. Click on done. And then I can hit save. And now both pages are scanned. And all you have to do is press on one of the pictures. And you'll see in the top right hand corner, there's an option that allows you to either email the document, text it, or upload it to a different app. So now I just opened up my email. And you'll see that it attached the PDF with both pages in one document. So I love this because I know I have a tendency to spend a lot of time looking for the best tech tool when sometimes the best tool is the simplest one that's right in front of us. So if you learned something from this or you know somebody else that might benefit from watching this, please feel free to share this video with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada. And on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.